And we're going to do another kind of test here to see how well the valves are seating. So before we begin this next test, we have to have spark plugs in each one of these holes. And so, got a set of used spark plugs here. I'm going to put these back to use. And I'm going to torque them all down to 19 foot pounds. Now we're going to flip the head over. And this exposes all the valves. Now you can tell by the color of the valves which ones are intake and which ones are exhaust. The intake valves are usually a little bit blackened and carbonized. The exhaust valves are usually a little bit orange and burnt up. Now there's a thin coating of lead on this because I was burning race gas. What I'm going to do here first, now that I've got plugs back in it, to seal these holes up. So I'm going to pour water in each one of these and let it sit for an hour just to see if any of them leak down. Fantastic dead. I'm going to let those sit. I'll be back to take a look at them a little bit later. So an hour's passed now. What I've learned is they don't have any really big problems. I can see that the levels dropped in a couple of these. The uh, surface of the water seems to have lost a little bit of its meniscus. And uh, what you do at this point, after the thing sat long enough for water to leak down, and I'm going to get you a new angle. Here's intake runner number one. You look up in there, it's bone dry, nothing running out on the cylinder head. That's dry. It's dry in front of this port, so nothing leaked out. You move on and you check the next port. You can see water beating up on that one. And also over here. So the intake valves are fine on number one, nothing's leaking out of that. We got a little bit of seepage on two, three, and four. Very minor stuff. You can look at the meniscus on top and tell they've all dropped roughly the same amount. Nothing is just dumping out. I never had any problems with compression on this engine. It always hit right around 150 to 152 pounds. It's in another video, but uh, I know that seems low, but it has cams in it. And I always ran factory cam gears, so they really weren't properly uh, degreed. I, sh I should have had adjustable cam gears for those to really get any benefit out of them. So that's the intake side. I'm going to take a look at the exhaust side now. Make notes while you work. So I'm expecting to catch some grief for that uh, last episode there where I'm pouring water into the cylinder head. And the reason why is because many people insist you do it with a head sitting upright. This adds what's called head pressure because uh, the deeper water goes the more pressure it applies down at the bottom. And it has a tendency to show the leaks a lot faster because of that hex extra head pressure. And the reason why I left the head sitting for an hour was to make up for the fact that I was just using a shallow pool. Either method works, and I'm about to illustrate that. But the reason why I did it with the head laying upside down was because of one little thing about a DSM exhaust port. The very last valve on number four has the EGR valve port plumbed into it. So if I were to sit the head upright and pour water into it, that's what happens. So I'd make a mess. And it actually wouldn't hold enough water to cover up the top of the valve. But that's just one valve. You can do this test this way on all the other ports. That's just fine. And in fact, it gives the same results. There we go. Isn't that funny? Hey. 
Well, let's see what we've got here. These look to be in pretty decent shape. But let's let them uh, sit for a little while and see what happens. Well, it's been 30 or 40 minutes already and I should have seen something. None of them are leaking right now. I don't have water beating anywhere and I don't see any wet spots on the valve seats. But I know these aren't perfect. Uh, they are the exhaust valves which actually tested better on the other head. So likely the same behavior is occurring. The reason I know they're not perfect is because of this. But anyway, I'm going to flip it over and show you what it does on the intake side. All right, so after 40 minutes or so, nothing here either. So there's nothing wrong with these valves whatsoever. 